What is going on, people? I am Shogun Ash, your resident Pokemon nerd, and today I'm going to help you find the Casaroya Titan. So, this one can be a little bit of an awkward one because um, the minimap will lead you here. It will say that it should be happening right here, and you'll see there's a lot of these um, sushi uh, based Pokemon lying around and they're all saying different things to you but the one that you want to go and find is this one here that says titan and uh when you interact with this one um <laughs> yeah as you can see uh you you definitely want to arrange your team because this is the point that the battle will start a giant version of its companion pokemon will show up and you're immediately thrust into a battle um, this battle is not easy, so be prepared. It is a water Pokemon that you need to deal with, so um, be aware of that. So, once you do eventually manage to whittle it all the way down to its breaking point, it will slither away just like other Titans do, and you'll need to go and follow that to its second area, and um, then you'll be able to continue the mission. Now, luckily, I mean, you could look in some around aimlessly, but the minimap does update for you, which is nice enough. So all you need to do is leave a marker there and um, head over to that part of the lake to begin the second area. And it is literally just um, behind that large island there um, towards the east of the lake. And you'll be able to start the second part of this mission, which is it's... It's another battle, but it's, it's a really fun one. So once you get there, you'll see there is that same Pokemon again. The fish that was shouting Titan at you. And once you pull up, that's quite imposing <laughs> to see that shadow right behind you there. And um, of course, then we know what happens here. They open up a cave. They find some of the Herba Mystica and um, Arven will then join you for the second part of the battle and um, try and help you and assist you. Obviously, he doesn't know anything that's going on here. He thinks that they've just been eaten. Um, he doesn't, he's not aware that they're companions. And uh, so begins the second fight. And again, it's a very, very difficult fight. So make sure you're prepared. Make sure your team are adequately healed. I did not do that. I had a rough time. But then once you eventually do take down Dondozo, um, you will get, obviously, the end of the battle. They will shrink down and disappear as is normal, which is great. And it's time, of course, then to go and collect the Urban Mystica. Or at least that is what you think would happen. Because <laughs> the smaller of the two companion Pokemon is also on smoke and has also eaten some of the Urban Mystica. And you need to get into a third and final battle. Um, which, again, is a tough one. But your team are fully healed this time because there isn't a chance for you to do so. So the game does heal your Pokemon for you. So you don't have to worry too much about this third fight here. And uh, you can proceed to go and take on the Tatsugiri for the final time. But as you can see... Despite its small size, it is bulky and strong. But once you do finally manage to take out the Tatsugiri, then this endeavor is over. This is, um, or at least was in my experience, the longest and most tedious of the Titan battles. Um, but there you go. That is how to handle the Cassoya Lake Titan and uh, after this the deal is actually done and you can continue along with the story um, with the Urban Mystica 
and so on and so forth. I won't spoil how that goes. I'll let you guys enjoy that for yourselves. But thank you for watching. If you found this helpful at all, please do give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new for more Pokemon tips and content. And I'll see you soon. Take care. Peace.